besties, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kate. I'm so glad to see you. You are truly appreciated. I hope you become a part of this beautiful YouTube family. Wedding season is upon us. So today we're talking about the most perfect, absolutely gorgeous fragrances for my gorgeous brides that are getting married in 2023. Please leave a comment down below if you are getting married this year or even if you're getting married next year in 2024 and 2025, leave a comment anyways. We all want to congratulate you. First things first though, I need you to know that in order to select a perfect wedding scent, you have to start fresh. You have to start new. It's you know difficult to select a fragrance that you already have in your collection, especially if it reminds you of something already or somebody else. I'm just saying. So what I would do, I would just go shopping. I would just explore completely new scents and I would just choose a fragrance that chose me. One fragrance that really resonates with me and my personality the most. So just to be clear, I would just start new, start fresh, but you do you, I'm just saying. Now, before we jump into this video, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let's do it. Now let's talk about the traditional, classic, conservative bride. A bride that doesn't like to show too much skin, that wants to keep it very classy, very traditional. She is very pure and innocent, and she wants something that smells like the most traditional, clean, fresh, and dewy bouquet of flowers. When I thought of putting this list all together and when I thought of wedding fragrances in general, for some reason Chanel perfume just popped in my head straight away and that fragrance is Chanel Gardenia from the Less Exclusives line. I am not the biggest fan of Gardenia. For some reason, mostly the fragrances I have experienced with this note seem to be very mature to a point where they become very indolic, heavy, and just outdated. But this fragrance, it's different because it's fresh, it's dewy, it smells like the freshest bouquet of beautiful white florals sprinkled with a little bit of spiciness. But the spiciness here is very smooth, it's just... It's just a little bit of something new, something more modern, something more fresh, just gorgeous. It smells very well blended, very luxurious and of a highest quality. Absolutely beautiful. If you're a gardenia lover or in general, if you love traditional white floral perfumes, this is definitely something that you need to put your nose on. Now let's talk about the romantic bride. The bride that might be a little bit more reserved or she's very romantic and she's dreaming of that true love story and she wants to smell somewhat sexy but not like screaming sexy. She wants to be elegant sexy. She wants to be muted sexy, toned down sexy but still sexy. Maybe she's not showing too much skin. Maybe her dress doesn't show any skin at all, but she still has that very fitted, gorgeous dress that really enhances and embraces her gorgeous body. So I have a fragrance that it's just a romance, a true love story encapsulated in the bottle. And that is Ambre Nui from the House of Christian Dior. It's a unisex fragrance, so it's not gonna be too feminine, too girly. It has something underneath something dirty, but it still is a very fresh, ambery scent with this beautiful, transparent rose somewhere underneath. And the rose is very, I would say cooling, almost cooling fresh. It's not your powdery rose. It's not your dark, deep rose. It's very gentle. But as it dries down, this anim like slightly animalic, not like skanky animalic, aspect really 
comes through and it becomes more dark and sensual like the beginning the opening of this fragrance is very fresh almost fizzy transparent super fresh but then you know as it dries down it becomes very sensual so if you're that kind of bride who is looking for something more than just a feminine fragrance this is it it's so beautiful very romantic so if you have that romantic personality in you and you want that romance attached to this special day please try ombre nui from christian dior now something for my sexy brides perhaps you have a dress you know with the little slit going on you're not afraid to show your curves your sex appeal your femininity you just want to embrace it you want to show it you are just that girl that just wants to be sexy and i have a fragrance for you that nobody really talks about and i don't know why when i smell this fragrance i think of that woman that just wants to be confident that just wants to show her confidence her strength and that fragrance is a lipstick rose from the house of Frederick Mall. It's got some traditional rosy powderiness that almost comes off makeup-y, hence the name lipstick rose. It's very powdery. If you like powdery scents, this is definitely going to be something that you will enjoy. But it's powdery in the very classy and feminine way. It doesn't smell like baby wipes. It doesn't smell like anything that has that baby or babyish association. It's actually super, super feminine, very elegant, very classy, but still has that sexiness. And that's what I love about it. It's, you know, it's powdery, it's slightly sweet. The rose in here is slightly sweetened up, but it also has that spiciness. And overall, this is a gorgeous scent that leaves a beautiful trail. In my opinion, this is a strong scent, so you really wanna go easy on the trigger. But you do you, honey. This is your wedding day, so don't be scared of spraying heavy, you know, over spraying because you want people to smell you when you walk down the aisle. So don't be afraid to show it you know don't be afraid to go heavy and just smell freaking good so if you're on your sexier side just go for lipstick rolls from frederick Mott. at least try it trust me it's beautiful and like literally every two minutes i gotta take a sip of water i'm sorry quick break now let's talk about the adventurous bride the outgoing bride the social bride a bride that is very open to try new things. She likes to be challenged. She likes to stand out in the crowd, but still she wants to make sure that she is not out of place, okay? And I have a perfect fragrance for you. Girl, trust me, this fragrance is spectacular 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 you guys know how much i love the house of maison crivelli it's one of my top 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 perfume houses and the fragrance that i'm talking about today in this video is hibiscus mahajad i can't breathe this is one of those fragrances that are very very memorable you know exactly how they smell like i can still smell it now like when i first smelled it for the very first time i was floored i was so freaking impressed first of all the projection outstanding i took a whiff of the fragrance straight from the atomizer and i could smell it for hours and i couldn't get rid of that smell it was just beautiful but let's get into it what does it smell like imagine you are drinking the most expensive natural hibiscus tea sweetened up with vanilla or sugared vanilla because i get this sugared vanilla touch in this fragrance and you have these rose petals just floating on the surface and it's served out of the most expensive finest china set that's literally what you're getting to me this smells like a person that's so unique that always inspires you to do more to be more to be kind to do more things in life 
it's just gonna make you smell memorable. Everyone's gonna remember exactly how you smelled and they will always attach this scent to the memory of your wedding day. I promise you, it's one of a kind, absolutely spectacular, potent, strong, long lasting to the upteenth degree. So if you want that kind of fragrance that everyone will remember, go for a hibiscus mahajan. It's absolutely spectacular. Now something for my sophisticated brides, elegant brides. Perhaps you're wearing a silk dress or a dress that's more fitted. It has that nice silhouette. Your hair is sleek, pulled to the back. You're wearing some dainty jewelry. Your makeup doesn't scream. It's not doing the most. Perhaps you decided to go for no makeup makeup look or you love your nude tones and you're just looking or something that's gonna embrace that elegance, that effortless sophistication with a touch of sexiness. I have the most gorgeous perfume for you and that is something that I put on my wish list and I am aching to buy it as soon as possible. We're not here for that. It is Guidance from Amouage. Guidance is so gorgeous. It is silky smooth creamy, slightly nutty, slightly fruity, slightly powdery, slightly sweet. The opening is very dynamic. There's a lot going on. But then as it dries down, everything kind of meshes together beautifully, creating this harmonious composition as if everything starts to kind of dance together and having fun together super smooth and very well rounded i absolutely adore the scent it brings out so much sophistication elegance and beauty refinement to your whole look it is one of my discoveries of this year for sure like something that i am looking forward to wearing every single day until i get bored of that if this ever happens i can't even tell you how much i love this scent now let's talk about the feminine but minimalistic bride so Perhaps you want a small intimate wedding. You don't want anything that screams. You find beauty in simple little things. Simply speaking, for you, less is more. Perhaps your skin, your hair is very effortlessly done. Maybe there's even no makeup on. Your dress is very simple and classic and you just want to maintain that clean, very minimalistic vibe. And I have a fragrance for you called The Musk from Essential Parfums. It's a fragrance that will never go out of style because I call it a clean woman fragrance. It smells very timeless, very gentle, soft, very inoffensive, just dainty. People will know that you are wearing something, but they're not gonna be able to smell all these no, it's, it's not, this is not a fragrance that's gonna do the most. It's not gonna be projecting loud. In fact, it is a very much a skin scent. So you do wanna go ham on the sprays with this one, but don't be afraid. If you do wanna be smelled, and if you do want people to go, mm, you smell really nice, or you smell beautiful, just overspray. Just overspray, don't be scared to do so because at the end of the day, you do want people to smell you and there's nothing wrong with that. I can promise you that with this scent, even if you do overspray, it's not gonna be anything obnoxious. It's not gonna be anything offensive. I can literally do 50 sprays of it and I know I'm always gonna smell and feel super clean, very soft, feminine. So I highly recommend you the mask from Essential Parfums if you do want to have that minimalistic, simple vibe on your wedding day. Okay, now my girly, girly brides. A fragrance for those of you who are into your gourmands. Don't worry, you're not gonna smell like a cake or like a bar of chocolate, none of that, okay? In fact, I would never even consider recommending you a fragrance that would make you smell like one because at the end of the day, you need some elegance and sophistication in your gourmand fragrances. And I have a perfect 
fragrance for you, and that is Blanche Bette from Liquides Imaginaires. By the way, a very, very underhyped and underrated house, in my opinion. This is your elegant, milky, lactonic fragrance with this beautiful, beautiful twist, beautiful edge, and that is a floral edge. I feel like floral touches should be somewhere in the background to add this femininity to your fragrance. So it is a very scrumptious experience. You're gonna smell like a snack, I promise you, girl, but without feeling overly sweet or sticky sweet or syrupy sweet, it doesn't have that juvenile, immature sweetness that I often find in straight up gourmand fragrances. There is jasmine and tuberose that add a little bit of freshness and like transparency to the scent, but overall it's a very lactonic, milky, creamy, delicious composition. I absolutely love the way it smells. There is a little bit of coconutty vibe in it and that I think adds a little bit more rice pudding kind of an experience because if it was a sun tan lotion-y coconut or like coconut water or like creamy coconut, it will go in a very tropical direction in my opinion. But the coconut here is like coconut flakes, just like sprinkled on top. It's not really meshed together. It's not blended with the rest of the ingredients or the rest of the notes but it's just kind of like thrown on top. But overall, it's a very milky, lactonic experience that just smells very, very yummy. I like the fact that the floral touches, they don't affect the milkiness of the scent. Please try Blanche Bat. You're gonna smell like an elegant, delicious woman. Now we're moving into a fresher take on a gourmand fragrance. It's a scent that brings out a lot of freshness, but still having these gourmand elements. And it is Dama Bianca from Zerzhov's Kasamurati line. If you are into fresh fragrances, if you are somewhat used to using only freshies, but on your wedding day, you wanna tweak things and take your freshie and put it on the whole new level, try Dama Bianca. It is very soft, musky, powdery, feminine, I consider this fragrance to be super feminine in the most gentle and softest way. It smells very angelic, innocent. It's almost like a fairy dust. It's creamy and soft in the very delicate way. And I love that about it. And I feel like if you are used to only using freshies or fragrances that are very safe, crowd pleasing, very proper, inoffensive, try Dama Bianca because it has this unique fruity citrusy element. By the way, there is a note of kumquat in the opening that kind of stays there and it doesn't really lose its presence. It's still there from the opening to the dry down. But around this kumquat note, there's powderiness, musk, there is this cleanness about the scent. Now with the video where we're talking about bridal fragrances, there is no freaking way. I'm gonna leave out Miss Delina from Parfums de Marley. I mean, what can I say? I am not surprised why she's featured in every single bridal video here on YouTube. People seem to really love her and appreciate her and I'm not surprised why. Because she is beautiful. She never gets out of style. If you don't know what to wear, like honestly, if you are clueless, you have no idea what to wear on your wedding day, I can guarantee you that if you wear Delina, you will love her. Everyone else will as well. You will get complimented left and right. People are gonna wanna be around you, smell you. She is happy, okay? She is uplifted, she is bright. How can you not want to be around this type of energy? But what's more important, she lasts for a very long time. It's not like she's bright, happy, fun, and super cool for 30 minutes and then she bounces on you. She's loyal. She stays with you till the very, very end. I can promise you this. She's beautiful. There is rhubarb, there is lychee, there is peony, there is, Rose, there is vanilla, incense in the base, musk. The way she looks is the way she smells. 
blush, pretty, feminine, sexy, attractive, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous bride. I don't know what else I can say. I'm biased because she's my ride or die. I will always have her in my collection no matter what people say. And you know, it's actually classified as a floral fragrance, but I don't think so. I actually think it's one of the most unique fruity floral fragrances on the market, definitely in my collection. And uh, I will always recommend her for those of you who are looking for unique feminine fragrances that are very powerful, very likable. In fact, I don't know if I consider her crowd pleasing because there are people who find the rhubarb note and the lychee note in the opening quite disturbing and repelling. In my opinion, this is exactly what attracts me to this fragrance that draws me in and just captures attention, okay? She's very captivating and I love that about her, that she's tart, she is zingy, she is zesty. She's just one of a kind, one of a kind. Okay, last but certainly not least, I wanna recommend you a fragrance if you're doing a destination wedding. Somewhere warm, tropical, sunny, beachy. I wanna recommend you not a typical tropical coconutty fragrance. I have something different. I have something warm, ambery, floral, creamy, smooth. You probably already know what it is. I have a decant of it here with me. I'm halfway through it, as you can see. My beloved Rouge Malachite from Armani Privé. This fragrance holds a special place in my heart. I always bring it with me everywhere I go because I just feel this urge to smell it every now and then. You know how when you have your perfume collection, sometimes you come up to a specific fragrance and you just take a cap off and you take a whiff of it and you're like, wow, I, I miss this scent so badly. That's how I am with Rouge Malakite. I just have to smell it every now and then. So this is your creamy tuberose of your dreams. At least it's a tuberose of my dreams. It's the most likable, if not lovable tuberose that's just creamy, fluffy, smooth, warm, slightly tropical because there is a Lang Ylang note and there is also amber that once it warms up on your skin, it becomes a sensual, tuberose dominant fragrance. There is also jasmine. There are spices at the top that really capture your attention and add a little bit of modern touch to it. It's absolutely divine. To me, this is the perfect wedding scent. If I could remarry again, which will never happen, but if I could, which will never happen, but if I could, I would definitely go ahead and wear Rouge Malaki because to me, this is the most perfect wedding scent. It smells like, like a fantasy wedding, like something that you could picture growing up. You know, like when just thinking of wedding, I would just think of that scent. That's it. It just smells so, so perfect. And there is nothing I don't appreciate or I would change in this scent. So. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like I could recommend you many, many more wedding fragrances, but that's it. Otherwise, this video would have been six hours long. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions, any suggestions, anything you want to ask me, just ask me. I'm more than happy to chat with you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I am looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Have a great day or a great night. Bye-bye.